In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build a make.com automation that can scrape any URL you can think of, whether it's a website, a YouTube channel, a LinkedIn profile, Instagram profile, and it's going to be able to take the information that's on the page and actually turn it into a personalized email or message, which is completely automated, which removes us from the process and we can invite personalized outreach messages or emails on complete autopilot. So this is game changing and you're going to absolutely love this. And just to show you a quick demonstration, I all I need to do is click run once and we click it and it's actually going to go onto the um, landing page as you can see here and it's actually already written a personalized email as you can see here which says hi Eman I noticed your website was about helping individuals make their first a thousand dollars online our service specializes in posting tailored content for your site to drive more traffic and sales on autopilot if this doesn't work you don't pay would you be totally against this and it's actually yeah taking this because it's true it helps people make their first thousand dollars online it's got Eman's first name in the actual email which is written here and it's done for us and what this means is we can actually put hundreds of URLs into this workflow and it's going to spit out a hundred personalized emails which is game changing and now I'm just going to walk you through how to actually build this automation in less than 10 minutes so you can do this yourself. Drop a like and let's dive straight into this. So the first thing you need to do is the HTTP make a request. Now what this is, is it's essentially giving make.com information on what we want to scrape. So in order to get this, you just need to add a module, very simple, um, in which you obviously um, you click add a module here, but you would do this at the start. And then once you're on the module, you would just put all the URLs you want to write personalized emails or messages from, right? So the method is get, this is just the URL. So this is obviously Iman Gadzi's website, which we want to use as information to write our custom email. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. The method is just get because we also want to get data from it. Um, body type, you don't need to put anything here and you want to put no for past response. And then once you click OK, you now want to add a module and you want to do text parser. So once again, you can just search in here for text parser. And just like that, let's just quickly delete that. Um, we can have this and this is what it should have in it. We should just have two data. So it's very simple, right? Um, which is, yeah, just the data from the, um, you know, HTTP essentially. Very simple. You should be understanding this right now. Um, and then once you click OK, we then add a new module, which is OpenAI um, ChatGPT, which most of you are familiar with. Now, you do just need to go into the API section of ChatGPT and actually create a secret key, right? And this is how we link OpenAI to Make.com. So Make.com make make just being a third party um, software. If you were to link any softwares with each other, so let's say you want to link make.com with Voiceflow or Voiceflow to Goha Level or Goha Level to OpenAI, all you need is the API key of the um, actual software you want to connect with the other software, and then that is how they link together. So hopefully now you understand that. So you just create a new secret key, call it whatever you want, so just call it make, and then just get a secret key. Um, and you can just do that in OpenAI if you just search for that on Google. Um, and now once you've done that, if we actually look at this, because this is where you do need to pay attention, um, what we want is to select a method and we want to create a chat completion. Uh, completion. The model you can put as GPT-40 or you could do, uh, I think, GPT-3 maybe. So yeah, you can see there's 3.5, there's all of these options. There's not real much difference. I recommend just going with 40 if you have the option. If not, don't worry. Um, for the messages, put the role as system the message content as you are a helpful, intelligent assistant. And then this is where it really gets um, interesting. So we need to pay attention here because we want to put the role as user. And then for the message content, we essentially want to tell, you know, we're essentially prompting AI here to actually write the email. So this is you know, really important. And what we're also going to say is we're going to say, tell me about this website using JSON for format below. Remember to keep it short, precise and concise. Um, short, precise and concise. Those are tricky words to pronounce all together. Um, and then you can just write this part here if you want. I found that it just makes the email a bit better. Sometimes it messes up. Um, but this is the prompt that we have gone for, right? First of all, you want to put this thing here where it's about um, and then quotation. And then you just want to say, write a simple 80 word email 
um, that must start with the founder's actual first name. So this is going to include the personalized thing in the actual um, email, right? So that's how it got to the hi Iman. Um, and we can actually convert this into an email, which I'm going to show you in a second. So keep watching. So yeah, that is great because obviously it includes personalized first line, automated. And then we obviously want a personalized compliment from the actual URL that we've uploaded um, about you know XYZ. So I noticed our website was about, so in this case it said, I noticed your website was about helping individuals make their first $1,000 online, which is what it's about. Um, so that's obviously a good personalized part to it. And then um, pitch your offer. And obviously you can change this for whatever you want to pitch, whether it's Facebook ads you want to sell um, you know, these people or maybe web design or AI appointment setters. It doesn't matter, right? You can sell anything, coaching, agency services. Um, through this, just put whatever you want to sell here um, and then just put your offer here, basically. Kind regards, Charlie. Very simple. So this is the prompt. You can pause the video, copy this um, and play around with this in Make. Um, so yeah, for the role, just put user, message content. Um, to, the text to be scraped is free text. And then that is all good to go. So let's click off that. Um, and now we just need a simple JSON. So once again, add a module. You can search for JSON, which is built in here. And then let's quickly delete that. It should be JSON string, should be 11 choice. So if you click on this, you'll see you get these options. But from this, you, you'd want to put um, 11 dot choices. Um, and then this one, which is message dot content. Um, which once again allows us to create a data structure. Um, so it just helps with the email. And then we simply add it to a Google Sheet. However, you could very easily, instead of adding this to a Google Sheet, we could very easily add a module here and we could put Gmail and then we could actually put send email, which is here. And then all you'd need to do is link your Google. So as you can see, we just need to verify and connect our Google account. So if we go here, we can actually add, let's say this one. And once I go through this, it should be fine. And then add a recipient. And then for this, you can actually see that if we go to here, this should be his email. Because in the in the thing we've done right at the start, if we go back a second, um, oh, give it a second to load. Here we are. So we should have the actual email um, scraped from this website, which if you actually go right to the bottom, you, you're always able to find these um, things. So if we just need to put emails here and then that allows us to send to the recipient of the um, email that's scraped from this landing page, which is really impressive because it's really hard to find as I've just shown as I've tried to find it. And then for the subject line, you'd want to create, uh, you can put this evergreen. So something like this, have you seen this yet? Is a really good subject line to get people to click on the email, provoke curiosity. And then for the content, you can then actually put the email that it's written. So customized um, email here, you can see that this is the actual email. So you can see here for a bit, it says, hi, Eman, I noticed. And that is what we exactly have here, essentially. So that is really powerful. So this allows us to just send emails. So if we click OK, it should be good to go. And then we can actually remove this part if you don't want to add it to a Google Sheet. And if you just want to send the email automatically, I show you a really smart trick that I guarantee you, you have not thought of. And if you have thought of this, congratulations, because you're quite smart. So what we can do is we can essentially find, as I've, as I've shown you, we can find the support email on the landing page um, right at the bottom, which is obviously scraped automatically from this um, automation. But what this means is we also have the owner name. So what we can do is we can actually remove the support part of this part here and we can replace this with Eman. Because if we replace Eman with here, this is likely to actually be his real email. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is the case because he's quite a big person. But if you were to do this for other businesses, this would 100% work. And then how you would do this is you would essentially download this as a CSV. So imagine you have like 100 emails in here, right? All of the owner's name, but then you have their support email because obviously we don't want to send to their support email. We actually want to send to the owner. So how we do this is we download it as a CSV. So now we head into ChatGPT and all we need to do is write a prompt saying, please remove the part of the email before the domain and replace with the owner's name. And then we just simply attach the Google thing we just downloaded, the Google Sheet. And if we click enter, you can see 
that this is the email we don't want to send to. And if you give it a second to load, what's going to happen is it's going to pop up with a new email here. And imagine you had like a thousand emails, but they were all the support emails, which you don't want to send to. But now you've actually got email at educate.io. So you can use this on a mass scale, right? Using this ChatGPT method that you probably haven't seen before. So if you found this interesting, just drop a like um, because this allows us to then go onto a software called Neverbounce. And what we can do is we can actually verify the email that we've just gotten on ChatGPT here, which is um, hopefully Eman's actual email. And we can actually make sure it is verified and a real email by using Neverbounce or Zerobounce or one, you know, there's so many bulk email verifiers that just make sure that the people we're sending to, like prospects, are actually real. Because what can happen is if you use this method and you don't use this part here, then you, you don't want to be sending to unverified emails because it can ruin your deliverability. If you're sending a lot of emails to wrong addresses, then it's going to affect your deliverability, making it so you won't land in the inbox. If you did enjoy the video, just drop a like, comment and subscribe for future videos. And if you are interested in getting this exact workflow that I've literally shown you right here, completely built, so you don't have to build this yourself and you can simply just import it um, into your own make.com, then feel free to join my school community. I've got so many automations and templates already built for you so you don't actually have to build it yourself um i've got ai appointment setters ai callers i've got cold email drip campaigns warm email drip campaigns sms workflows everything you can think of in, in an actual free go level account as well as we're now adding make.com automations into the school so there's no better time to join than now 354 business owners, agency owners, coaches are using this to their advantage because they understand the value of this. And you can also get coaching calls and, and you know, an amazing community. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. That'll be the first link in the description. And yeah, take it easy. Have an amazing day and stay tuned for some absolute amazing videos coming soon on the channel.